Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Paul Andrigo here, realestatepodcastshow.com. Today I wanted to bring something to you that some of you may have read about, but some of you probably are still getting the news. And this is definitely a shocking mortgage announcement that is coming to Canada. This is going to be, um, again, unfortunately, something that has been decided from people at the top of the food chain that might not benefit those below them. And what I mean by that is the people who are deciding on interest rates and changes are not people with mortgages. They're not usually people who are in the same position as those of you who actually have a mortgage. So my goal is to make sure that um, you understand the pros and cons of what is about to be happening. Let's jump right into it and make sure you get all the details. The two main things that are changing, and these are pretty major, is that they're increasing the $1 million cap for insured mortgages, which used to be you could not get more than that insured. Now it's going to be up to 1.5 effective this year, effective December 15th. Because of the fact that prices have gone up, they are going to allow you to get a bigger mortgage. So you're going to qualify for a larger mortgage and it will, yes, help some of you buy more of a home, but at the same time, you're also going to have a little bit more in terms of the handcuffs that come along with having a mortgage. Now, everyone does need to have access to the right amount of money that they need for your property. You absolutely need to make sure you have what you need. But at the same time, you also have to make the sacrifices right now to possibly look into where your money goes further without borrowing more. And from someone who has been through the mortgage world in terms of a, of a client having worked with many of the top mortgage people as well, For me, the best mortgage contact, the best banking uh, advice that you'd ever want to get is you would want someone that is rewarded for you having less of a mortgage and being paid off sooner. That's not the way it's, that's not the way it happens out there. Unfortunately, after you buy your first place, you'll probably get um, a letter or you'll probably get, you'll probably get the information from the bank and they will throw more money at you. Knowing that of course, the more that you owe them, the longer they have you on the hook and the more interest they can squeeze out. And I'm going to talk about that part last, but the second part is also sort of a issue of contention for me. So this, this has to do with the eligibility of the 30 year mortgage. So this is something that's fairly new. And instead of just being for new builds, because it was previously for just new builds, new construction, it's now going to be included as something for all first home, first time home buyers. So what the, the, what the, what the point of this is supposed to be is to reduce your payments and allow you to, of course, you know, maybe buy a little bit more than you need. The problem with the 30-year mortgage, the problem with a 25-year mortgage, the problem with any mortgage is that you have to understand there are hidden costs that the bank and many mortgage brokers, unfortunately, aren't going to tell you. And that's exactly why I wanted to bring it up today. Part of what I do is buying and selling properties, helping you get the absolute best results and experiences possible every single time. That, that will never change for me. But something that I have started doing in the last few years because of client demand and because of the fact that it needed to be done is to create a way to get out of your mortgage, sort of an escape clause for you to get out of it. Because the fact is that the bank won't tell you that even just a $500,000 mortgage, which many of you might have at 5%, ends up costing you an 
extra $370,000 over the term. So you actually end up paying not a $500,000 mortgage. You end up paying back an $870,000 mortgage. This is the reason I want to make sure you're informed about this and that you are on a sort of a distraction-free route to getting to the mortgage-free status that you want as soon as possible. Because even if you do own the property, even if it is mortgage-free, there's always going to be property taxes. And if you don't pay those $500 a month property taxes, they can still take the property from you. So you have to sort of embrace all of this stuff. And if you're still okay with it after that, and your expenses are low, obviously, it'll probably be not a big deal for you to have to pay your property taxes, uh, your utilities and whatnot, and keep your property. I want to make it as simple, but transparent. And that's the difference between when you go and walk into a bank, they're never going to show you the chart that I have here. And this is a government um, mortgage calculator. This isn't something that's just sort of, you know, hidden away somewhere on the internet. I'm happy to send you the link, but most importantly, uh, you will get it once you're signed up at Mortgage Free Ontario, because if you're at the point now where you've been paying 15, 20, 25 years of mortgage, if you're, if you're almost to the point where, you know, you just want to be at that mortgage free, you might be one move away, literally just making the right move to the right property in the right city. Uh, it could be an hour, it could be five hours away. That, that part is to be decided. But very often, the last few years I've been helping people do this, they've been able to sell their $100,000 home, sorry, million dollar homes in Toronto, uh, buying a property for far less than half that price and having the difference put away in their bank account for the future, for rainy days. But at the very least, sitting somewhere in an account like a GIC, possibly earning thousands of dollars a year in interest. So at the very least, it's doing something for them, but it's also not being affected. You are not losing money on your investment that way. It's not like a stock or a, uh, a crypto or anything like that that does involve some degree of risk. So there is a very safe outcome that is attached to this idea. But make no mistake, you do not want to be cheering the fact that you can now borrow more and they'll insure you for it or 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 let you borrow uh, let you have your mortgage for longer this is not something that you necessarily want to be looking into as far as the as far as what i call the golden handcuffs uh, situation so they'll put you in these handcuffs it'll seem like you're you know getting a, a great um a great option, but you're not really getting all the information if you're just looking at that. So I'm hoping that this information gives you at least the um, ability to just make another decision, to look into other options. I'm here to help. I want to make sure that you make the right decision. If it is buying your next property or selling, by all means, I'll help you do it. But I will also suggest that maybe if you're able to look in, uh, you know, um, a city that's an hour or two over from where we're looking, sometimes you're going to be looking at getting that same property for much closer to your price range. And if you're just at the point where you're just starting your housing um, journey, it really doesn't hurt you to do that. And you might actually be ending up in a much better place after a certain number of years. So again, a lot of variables to be discussed, but make no mistake about it. The, 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 the shocking mortgage announcement is coming. So I want to make sure you know everything that there is to know about it so that you can make the right decisions. Any questions, any uh, anything you want to find out, make sure that you send me um, the information in the comments. Uh, and by all means, if you do need your own wealth report done on your property so you know where you stand, you can simply sign up at realestatewealthreport.com. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.